hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach with you introduction of my SQL database basically database is used to store the data for any application if you will develop web based application so you need to store the data in the database so you must know the database what is database this is the basically my sql sql means structure query language and my this is the name of the author so i use a database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed managed and updated data is organized into rows columns and tables and it is indexed to make it easier to find relevant information data gets updated expanded and deleted as new information is added database process workloads to create and update themselves Querying the data they contain and running application against it. So this is a very simple video uh, all about introduction of the MySQL. I go to the next slide. In the next slide have a simple table. Inside the table have what records. So you must know how does work it, how does database work it. First of all, you need to create a database. Inside the database, you need to create a table. Inside the table, you need to define the columns. After defining the columns, then you need to store the data inside the columns. Then you will see the rows, I mean data will store in the table row wise. In this table you are able to see those are columns id name email and general and basically this is our complete row second row third row fourth row. for example i want to delete the record right i want to delete the record from this table so we need to remove the complete row in the database i can't delete a specific record for example I want to remove the name on the link I can't do that why because the database working is columns and row wise I want to delete the record so you need to select the complete row and I want to remove the column so I need to select the whole column right so I will teach you on later how you can create a database how you can create a table how you can store the data in the tables and after learning database then you will able to understand database after understanding database then you will use database to store the web application data so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach with you my SQL database before opening or uh, using MySQL you need to know how you can open that first of all you need to open XAM and as you can see Apache already running you need to run the MySQL once you have start the MySQL then you will use MySQL database okay close that and open the favorite browser and search the localhost or slash php my admin this is the address of mysql database this is the interface of mysql database in the left side have a many databases inside the database have a many tables or single tables and those are options like database, SQL Server, I mean SQL 
status user account export import setting replication variables chart and more in the right side have a database server your database server, na server name is 127 something like that and uh, server type server version protocol and user and many other things this is a web server this is apache and database client and this is a php version we have used basically we are using php version like 5.6.28 right this is a version of php my admin 4.5 and 1 the latest stable version is 4.8.2 those are links you can follow them to read the mysql uh, php my admin details okay and now this is a language this is a default language english and this is a theme you can change that this is a font size the all font size right and this is a more option i click on the more option then i redirect with the setting option but i go back first we've discussed all about databases I click on database those are basically databases okay do you want to create a database just enter the database name and click to create button then database will automatically create now the next is SQL you will write the queries to perform the different tasks like create a database, create a table, perform the operations like insert the data in the table, update the record, delete the record using SQL Server Query. Now the next thing is status. This is a complete status of your MySQL database and uh, receiving per hour and many other things available on it inside the status have a process query statics all the status variables monitors and advice and now the next is user account inside that you will create your own account but the default accounts have been available on this page the username hostname password global privilege group uh, grant action and many other things okay do you want to create an account your own account your own username your own host name I mean password you can do that okay now the next is export for example I want to export the data I mean database in my computer so I will use export method to export the record I mean complete database with tables on my computer because it is very important to export the database in your computer then you will use same database to store the I mean upload the database into online server online server or you can say that uh, web hosting right now the next is import do you want to import the record I mean uh, database you can do that you can import the record I mean database on your PHP my admin panel now the next is settings inside that you will set up your MySQL database inside that have a many options like futures SQL query navigation panel main panel import export you can change this setting as you like for example do you want to increase the font size for example I go to features the login cookie validate is numbers and maximum tables is 250 you can change that and this is the database this is the text field details page title warnings and many other things okay now they'll go to reflection nothing happened on here variables chart set those are basically optionals but more important 
is a database tab SQL Server tab import export and also user sometime more than user will create personal account but more than users will use same user account like a root yeah, this is the username root your host name is localhost and password is no okay those are very important to connect the PHP and MySQL I mean database okay so I think uh, this is a very simple video all about introduction of the MySQL PHP my admin or you can say that MySQL database in the next video I'm gonna teach with you how you can create your own database how you can create your own table how you can store that record in the tables so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about my SQL I database I hope you are understood as well all about the features of my SQL in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can create your own database how you can create your own table how you can use that to store the data in the table okay so first of all I go to databases and assign the database name you can write any name as you like in my case I use php underscore programming this is a my database name and click to create after creating a database then you need to create a table inside the database php programming you need to assign that table name for example I assign the table name users and how many columns you want to assign this table okay I want to assign more than three and click to go then you need to assign the column names and also type up the data for example I assign the column name ID I want to increase the text so I need to use underscore I do not use space and then name I need to use underscore okay I use user underscore ID okay then this is the type which type you want to assign this column I want to store the integer value inside this column so I assign the integer right if I want to change the value I mean I want to assign the text so I will assign the virtual or text okay but this time I assign the value I mean type integer and then I will assign the auto increment primary key identity check it and click to go auto increment will generate automatically numbers inside this column okay unique numbers now the next is I assign a username and type watcher how many range or characters you want to assign this column I want to assign the 255 R 50 and third one is user email okay I assign the same type watcher 50 just click to save your database and table have been created now I will teach you another process for example I want to store another column after the user email so you need to assign the number one and select that before or after okay for example I want to create a column after the user email so I select user email if I want to assign the column after the username then I select username okay you can also use user ID after the user ID you will create a, your own column okay but I assign the user email and click to go then I use same process for example I use um, user password okay and I will assign the type of text and assign the range of the characters 50 and click to save 
and click to structure now your last column has been created now those are another options for example I want to change the type or text so I click to change and I want to change the type for example virtual and click to save okay we need to assign the length okay save now I want to delete this column so I click to draw and click to ok right so those are features you can use them to perform the different tasks like uh, insert the um, text and change the type okay so I hope you are understood as well how you can create a database how you can create a table using design mode I will teach you how you can use queries to perform the operations like uh, create a database create a table create a uh, basically columns type and many other things so after creating a database and table we need to assign the value inside those columns so I go to insert okay and I do not assign the ID number because ID will generate automatically so I will assign the username for example programmer and user email admin at online com and I just click to go and I go to structure sorry I go to browse inside the table have a one record this is a unique ID and this is my username this is my email if I will store another record then the number 2 will automatically store and another name email will store okay in the table so I go to answer and I send the name Kami and Kami at gmail.com okay go go to browse okay as you can see this is very simple process to use them okay now I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about how you can create a database and how you can create a, your own table table is very important to store the application data okay now let's talk about the database features and table features first I go to database future I click on database this is my database PHP programming inside that database have one table the name of the table users I want to create another table I can do that I just write the name of the table and assign the columns and those are features like browse structure search insert delete and drop insert empty and drop are very important to understand that for example I want to store the record inside this table I click on insert and assign the uh, value of the columns then I just click to go okay I go back I want to use empty future it means after using that then the complete record will remove inside the table after using empty okay now finally is drop I want to delete the table complete table so I use a drop right now let's talk about inside the table features I click on the user inside the user have a to record the same features available on here like delete the record and also edit the record you want to copy the specific record like programmer program at gmail.com you can do that using copy feature okay now the next one is export for example I want to export the table and also record with my computer I mean I want to save the complete record in my computer so I just click to check out and click to export now the next thing is very important understand the ID um, automatically ID using a primary key identity 
in please selector we have stored two records one two I want to delete the second one record and click to OK. If I will store another record, then the another record will store in the table with user ID 3. Why? Because I have deleted in the second ID record. Primary key identity will generate automatically numbers, right? Automatically and unique numbers. Remember that that is very important primary key identity. Okay, so I click to insert and I write the another name Gemma Gemma by gmail.com and okay, okay, and go to browse as you can see, guys. Three if I delete this record then I will store the another call press as by then you will see number four record why because the primary key identity and also auto increment will generate unique numbers one two and many other numbers right so that is very important to understand that okay now the next thing is this is a design mode we have used completely design mode but you will use PHP or another programming language you need to write the queries like insert the record display the record update the record search the record and many other things so in situation you need to know the basic knowledge of queries so I think this video is too long. In the next video, I'm going to show with you how you can create a tables, how you can store the data using queries. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture. Hello guys, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have discussed all about database and also table features. In this video, I'm going to teach with you how you can use queries to created your own database create your own table and also uh, store the record inside the table using queries so first of all I go to databases and I delete the PHP programming database because I will create the same database using query okay now first go to PHP my admin right this is a PHP my admin your main page then go to secure inside that you need to write the query so I increase the size of the browser okay I want to create my own database so first you need to write the create keyword and why do you want to create I want to create a database then you need to write the database name for example I write php underscore program that's it select that and just a minute I go to this site I decrease the size of the browser just click to go your database has been created now as you can see inside that have a input text field column this is a design pattern right but I will use queries first select your database then again click secure I want to insert the record sorry I want to create first table okay so I use some same keyword create table which table you want to create which name you want to assign for example I assign the name users right then use parentheses and assign the columns for example I want to assign the column ID underscore user first I assign user underscore ID which type you want to assign this column I use int means integer then I use primary key and also auto increment primary key will generate unique numbers and I mean each time the number will increase it means one two three then I use comma 
I want to create another column I just write user name I want to assign the type just write watcher parenthesis inside there you need to assign the range we have made two columns first one is user ID second one is user email I want to create another column like a user email type virtual 50 that's it click to go okay as you can see guys inside this database PHP programming have a users table okay I click on that and I click to secure inside the table have many other features like select select insert update delete for example I don't remember the update query so I click on update this is a complete update query but you need to change the value okay first I um, want to store the record inside this table okay so I remember the query I use insert and to the table name is users then parentheses and assign the column names for example I click on the plus sign how many columns available inside the table user ID username user email so I need to assign the username comma user email I do not assign the because the ID will generate unique numbers unique numbers I just assign the username and email then after parenthesis you need to write the values parenthesis I will use single quotation and assign the text first and second one is send the programmer at gmail.com that's it click to go one row insert a let's check it I click to users as you can see guys number one programmer programmer at gmail.com let's talk about another queries okay I want to display the record using query so you need to write this simple select static means all from your table name this is a query it will display it complete your table record as you can see guys let's try another query okay this is a another keyword like where first I stored the another record I use uh, first I use just a minute I will show you guys insert into users user email uh, user name user email values mm. John John at gmail.com and click to go we have two records inside the user table one and two right and I go to SQL again I want to search the record with the help of ID with the help of user ID ID is very important to perform the different tasks like uh, update the record using ID delete the record using ID search the specific record using ID so you must we understand the ID I mean um, primary key identity auto increment ID okay so I use select steric from my table name is users where I use the column name user ID equal to 1 it means I want to display the user ID 1 record okay I click go this is a my one record okay go to again and write the same query user 
where user id equal to 2 as you can see now the next one is you can also search the record using select I want to use a specific column name so I click to select my column name is uh, for example username from users where user ID equal to 1 then I want to search the specific column name okay username let's try it just a minute okay guys username is programmer right this is a my specific column name go back and there are a lot of queries SQL Server a lot of queries but I teach you important queries that will help you to develop the application and perform the same operation like display the record delete the record update the record search the record and many other things so let's talk about the this is a for select query and this is the insert let's talk about the update query but I check it my video okay the video is too long in the next video I'm gonna teach with you update and delete the query and also many other queries okay so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about select insert and um, where queries in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can use update delete and also truncate queries so first of all I want to update the record I mean update the username using queries so what I can do I write symbol update this is a keyword then set, uh, then table name the table name is users then I click to set username this is my column name actually to I will assign or update the record okay first keyword is update user set this is a column name I want to change the my username okay just a minute mm. I right click it and open it new tab okay username this name so I change the username for example I write the developer then I use where keyword then my first column name is which have uh, ID equal to 1 okay I want to update the record this ID okay so simple click to go one row effect that let's check it now refer that as you can see guys okay I want to update the email use some process update your table name set email user underscore email this is your column name user underscore email equal to I change the email for example uh, first I check it my email okay this is a programmer at gmail.com I want to change the email I admin at direct online ittutes.com where user ID equal to one okay this is a one ID okay if I want to change the second column I mean second uh, record so I click to um, I mean I will assign number two okay just uh, click go okay refer that as you can see guys right 
this is very simple query update okay now the next one is delete the record okay so delete the record for example I uh, just write delete this is a keyword this is also keyword this is your table name where then you need to write the your column name user ID equal to for example I want to delete the number one record so just select that and click to go that's it your one record has been removed now right okay now the next one is there are many others okay simple and uh, very useful for you the next one is truncate I want to refresh my table I mean I want to delete my complete table record so I use truncate table uh, users this is my table name. okay click to go and I refer that okay no record available inside that user table now another important thing is after using truncate query then you will store the record inside the table then the primary key identity will generate starting numbers I mean 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 etc right let's check it I'll use insert into users user name user email values this is a text value okay so I use text admin admin editor at online attitudes.com copy that and paste two times I mean one more time I copy that just a minute I copy that I cut it okay and I press go and again I paste the same code just to change the name mm, web developer web developer at hotmail.com go let's check it now as you can see guys number one number two right now the next query is drop for example I want to delete the table okay first I create a table just a minute create table um, user 2 okay okay just a minute guys I just assigned the ID int primary key identity primary key automatically okay I just assign the one column okay. okay I just show you how you can use truncate uh, sorry drop table drop query okay I want to delete that table so I use drop first you need to know inside the PHP programming have uh, two tables user to users okay I want to delete the user to table using query so I use drop table and table name okay now inside the PHP programming database have only one table oh sorry this is uh, my I want to delete my second table but don't worry I will uh, create a same table and also I will store the record okay let's check it now the I also delete this table okay user 2 because I will create another table right now okay so just go on secure and I create a table and uh, users I just assign the column name and frame I just uh, assign the only one column I just tell you how you can do that okay only one column have a users PHP programming and this is a my table 
okay those are basically uh, very useful and helpful queries you need to know how you can use them in the programming language I will teach you on later how you can use that but remember that you must be follow on the queries you do not use the um, design pattern to create a table insert the record delete the record update the record I prefer you use queries okay so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can use export and import features to export the database and also tables in your computer and also you can use import feature to get the data or database from your computer with your database or mysql php my admin right so first of all i go to my php programming and database inside the php programming database I have a one table with the name of users okay in this table I have a only for table okay only for one table but I have many databases I just show you how you can use import and export I use a uh, basically student registration system this is my basically uh, database inside the database I have a two tables admin and st registration I click on st registration inside this table I have a three records okay one two three okay I want to export this database with my computer so first click on the database like this student registration and click to export and then just click go the database has been downloaded on your computer right so I want to delete the database first I go to PHP my admin and I select databases and I select a student registration database. So I search a student. Just a minute. Just a minute. This is uh, this is database. Okay. I select that and I go to draw. I want to delete the database. Okay. With complete record. Why I have deleted the record or database? Because I have downloaded the database with the name of student registration. I will use import feature to get the data I mean get that database on my computer before using import feature you need to create a database I mean uh, create a database with any name so I go to databases and I create a database with the name of for example student uh, registration you can write any name as you like in my case I use a student registration okay and just click to create once you may the student registration then click on the student registration database and go to the import and go to choose file and upload your database I go to download and wait a couple of seconds to display the database okay mm, there is a database here yeah. student registration this is my basically database okay I just click on to open and uh, go to below and click to go Okay guys after importing database from your computer then the database and also table have been uploaded on your database let's check it I go to student registration and this is uh, my tables 
admin and st registration i click on st registration in this table i have a same records so one two three those features very important to get the data from computer and also download the database with your computer okay so this video is a very small video all about import and export features I hope you are understood as well how you can use that to export and import the database so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture guys